dear students welcome to the lj polytechnic live sessions myself chaya thakkar couple of the live session we seen unit 1 logarithm but we want to something change right so let's start a new chapter that is a mensurations now our today's chapter mensuration unit 5 in basic mathematics you have already learned mensurations in a school but the difference is that in engineering field some equations is included in mensurations that's why that is a learned in a engineering so let's start our first part that is perimeter and area of plane figure now our first plane of figure is circle so you can see here that is a circle and in circle radius is denoted by r and diameter is denoted by d that's why our perimeter of circle is 2 pi r and our area of circle is pi r square now second plane of figure is sector of circle you can see here the figure sector of circle in sector of circle l is denoted by arc that's why l is equal to pi r theta upon 180 now perimeter of sector of circle then perimeter of sector of circle is equal to pi r theta upon 180 plus 2r that means l plus 2r the next area of sector of circle now area of sector of circle is equal to 1 by 2 lr it simplify that 1 by 2 r square theta now our third plane of figure is triangle in triangle small abc is denoted the side so perimeter of triangle is a plus b plus c same as semi perimeter of triangle then semi perimeter of triangle is denoted by s it is a plus b plus c divided by 2 then main equation is area of triangle what is the area of triangle it is 1 by 2 b into h and next it is a learn in a school time that is a heron equation heron equation is under root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c our fourth plane of figure is right angle triangle you can see here the figure in figure small a b c is denoted the side that's why our perimeter of right angle triangle is a plus b plus c and area of right angle triangle is 1 by 2 b into h where h is denoted the height our fifth area of figure is equivalent triangle now look at the figure in figure every sides are equal that means that it is denoted by l in equivalent triangle perimeter is 3l now area of equivalent triangle so area of equivalent triangle is under root 3 by 4 l square our next plane of figure is parallelogram you can see the figure opposite sides are equal that's why our perimeter of parallelogram is 2 into a plus b now area of parallelogram so area of parallelogram is b into h where h is denoted by height the next plane of figure is rhombus then look at the figure here in four sides are equal that's why perimeter of rhombus is 4l and area of rhombus is 1 by 2 d1 into d2 where d1 and d2 are diagonals our next plane of figure is trapezium so you can see here the figure in figure b1 and b2 both are parallel line that's why perimeter of trapezium is a plus b1 plus b2 plus c the next area of trapezium so area of trapezium is 1 by 2 h into b1 plus b2 where b1 and b2 both are bases of parallel line now our next plane of figure is kite look at the figure side lines are equal that's why perimeter of kites is equal to 2 into a plus b and area of kites is equal to h1 into h2 where 
H1 and H2 both are diagonals. Then our next plane of figure is rectangle. In rectangle show in the figure opposite sides are equal. That's why our perimeter of rectangle is 2 into A plus B and area of rectangle is A into B. Now our next plane of figure is square. Now look at the figure. All sides are equal. That's why perimeter of square is equal to 4L and area of square is equal to L square. Ok student, today we have gone through some basic plane of figures. That is the most important part in a mensuration. So keep learning. Thank you.